and trying to be the best even in east coast is just goes to show your caliber man because you literally have more than half the pgr up in east coast <laughs> if you tell me you're one of the best players in east coast man i'd believe you if, if you make it out there at least because like i said one of the hardest things to do with such a strong region that it is Right, but here we go. Gonna be starting off on Battlefield here. Ling Ling starting off uh, with taking 38 to 51, but does have a little bit of momentum after taking that victory. But I mean, they got Spiro in the way, not landing a single hit yet, man. Spiro on fire. Yeah, Spiro kind of slowly taking the time here. I mean, you, when you have a lead like 83, all you have to do is kind of react to your opponent's options with the ledge guard that you had. Mm. Back out of shield, explosive flame, forcing that recovery option there. And what a great call with dash attack. Because you still get that invincibility frame. That's going to be a forward throw. Okay, I thought we were going to see a down throw. But I still like the fact that Spiro goes for forward throw. Just because, you know what? You still set him up to be off the stage no matter what. Mm -hmm. All right. Ooh. What's happening here? Nothing? All right. Cool. Okay. I thought we were going to be able to see a stock disappear. But Ling Ling, looks like they're finally trying to get something going. Oh, my God. Nope. Get the grab. Ooh, that was a really good air dodge. You're not gonna oh, always take no. anyway. That's rough. <sighs> rough indeed. And you kind of respect it too, because you wanted to avoid getting hit by Palutena, but you have to ask yourself the question. Well, was it worth, you know? Maybe getting hit and trying to reset yourself at the stage, depending on the move, is something you have to evaluate at the time. We'll see, man. Yeah. Ling Ling. This is definitely looking really rough, though. Spiro just absolutely smothering Ling Ling. But all I'm saying is, if Ling Ling doesn't feel like they have the answer after this game one, all I'm going to say is that I know of a certain DDD main who claims that DDD uh, maybe goes even <laughs> with Balatana. We, did see, uh, we didn't see it, but uh, Ling Ling did use DDD not too long ago. Look, I'm going to be real. Maybe offline DDD not so much, but online DDD is a different beast. <laughs> is I, a different I, beast. He is a whole. Adamus has come to MSM and he has proved that time and time again. So if Ling Ling has that character in the cards, I can definitely see him taking a stalker a game. Yeah. Adamus is who I was talking about, by the way. I love that dude. <laughs> there we go. Ling Ling on the board here, uh, but 107%. Uh, they got a huge hill. They got to climb here if they want to make this comeback. All right. It looks like it might be happening. Nope, only a couple turnips. Trying to get something going. Throwing out a couple of nares as well. Ooh, big down smash call out. Going to be able to take out that second stock. Let's see if Ling Ling can answer back quickly. Throwing out a Nair themselves, but we're going to see the recovery. No! Oh, the explosive no. Flame. You, I, like, I think Spear was just a little bit too far because that mindset from a Palutena main is go for explosive flame so it hits at the ledge so your opponent has to react to it and then you can try to get the ledge. But unfortunately, just being too far off was not going to be great in the cards for Spiro. Ling Ling, though, still de definitely facing the wrath against Palutena. It's not over just yet. Okay, throwing out the toad. But yeah, man, 40% uh, really is only the difference here. Ling Ling could very well find a way to take this game, but Spiro's been in control since the beginning. Yeah, and look at the way that Spiro hasn't let go of center stage, too. Very, very strong presence of mind of a Palutena yeah. main. Gets the up smash, and wow, that just lasts forever because that was able to just beat out Peach Bummer. And the back air with the positioning, man. Spiro just did not let go of that whole stage. He stayed around center and knows what it takes to beat out a character like Peach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Beautiful stuff. Um, I mean, <laughs> there's nothing else to say about it. Uh, Spiro just played that phenomenally. Had control the entire time. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, I don't know. There, there's, there's nothing to say. We're just gonna to, got to, wow. We're just gonna have to see if Lingan can find a way to answer back. But as of right now, from what we're seeing. Spiro's definitely control. I don't really see them dropping this next game because that was that was a strong showing. Yeah. Spiro taking game one here. Uh, we'll see. Pretty much at set point, of course, this is a best of three here in the Smash GG ladder. Happening every weekend for the next few weekends. Every Sunday, guys. So make sure you guys tune in. If you guys don't don't even get to be part of the top eight, man, get in the ladder. Get some games in, man. Who knows? You could make it out there. You've got a couple weekends to make it happen, so why not start now? Exactly, exactly. 
I mean, you're, you're due to get a lot of games, man. You can play as much as you want, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it's more of like the effort you put in and the wins you get in definitely amount to you being out here. And like you said, right, you can get a lot of games. So no matter what, you kind of win because some tournaments, they don't have that ladder format. And definitely Smash GG is providing that format out there for you. Ling Ling with a great coverage there. Tossing the turn up, which covers the roll and going for down smash, which covers the ledge options. All right. See where it goes here, though. We're going to see the Peach Bomber. Ooh, almost getting the Nair. Like, looks, felt like they, they knew that the recovery on stage was coming out. But um, probably probably because the teleport started at a weird angle. And, or not a weird angle, but a weird height. So, like, it's, it's either they're not going to go for the angle to, towards the ledge because it's too risky. So, they probably just knew it was going to land on stage. But, again, Ling Ling going to keep putting on this, this godlike pressure right now. Jeez. All right, neutral are coming out here for Spiro, kind of slowly being able to get in. No up air, great landing catch. Down throw forward air, great. You get that stage positioning too in the uh, off guard. I'm sorry, off stage edge guard. Back air. He said Olive Garden for a second. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I am dreaming of Olive Garden, Skiff. I cannot wait to go back to the Olive Garden. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Ooh. All right, there we go. We're going to see a back air. Uh, going to be able to take out that first stock. Ling Ling in control this time. And this is exactly what we want to see, man. And when you see a game one that feels like it's so dominant in one player's uh, uh, direction, you want to be able to see that the other player can find a way to make a, you know, some sort of statement saying, hey, you know what? You got game one, but I'm about to bring the heat in this game too. So I hope you're ready. Ling Ling, again, taking the lead. 135, though. Could be losing his stock very soon. We're going to see if Spiro can find a way to close it out. Yeah. So far, Spiro 70 here to Ling Ling's 135. Well, honestly, this is, yeah, like you said, Skip, a very different game from game one. Neutral air to cover the warp. Why? Because, you know what? She uh, she snaps the ledge, but she's not invincible the entire time. So something like that can definitely catch the lining there on the, on the warp. Up tilt. That is, see, that is also like a ledge just effort for Palutena. Like, that is an, not even a great anti-air. It's just one of those moves Palutena will toss out because it's so fresh and you never expect it. Exactly. I mean, Ling Ling one sack away from evening this set up, unless Spiro has something to say about it. Whoa, going for it all. And, oh, wait, no, they're going to be able to make it back. I thought that was it. Oh, no, rough air dodge. And that's pretty hard for you to come back. Ooh, because look at the damage woo. that you're taking. And woo. Ling Ling on the execution, almost pretty much taking care of Spiro for that poor mistake here. Ling Ling has pretty much taken control of the entire base. That was, uh, that was a lot of really great text, though. Got to hand it to Spiro for staying alive. But yeah, no, uh, Ling Ling definitely got a lot of percentage out of that. And it's rough. You have to really evaluate on your recoveries as well. Because if you recover, like, look at the situation there. Yep, that'll beat it out again. Ooh. Yo, Spiro's definitely on point with these texts. I got to hand it to him. But man, 121, and Ling Ling's got a whole other stock after this. So even if you take it, there's no guarantee you can even make that comeback. Yeah. And you have to give it to Ling Ling, too, just understanding some of Palutena's weaknesses in terms of recovery. Warp again. Ling Ling still in a stock deficit here. 140 with the forward at the 104, and Ling Ling still on two stocks. Yep, and that ledge of its ability is going to be running out very quickly. The longer this goes and the more damage that Spiro takes. So Ling Ling could be looking for a, uh, a two-frame option or just uh, a poke off the ledge to close it all out. And Spiro's not careful. What? <laughs> I can't believe they actually found their way like around the back here. <laughs> that's, the, back that's, the, expo the explosive flame is what I meant. That's what's kind of surprising me. Like just, well, honestly, it's the way that Spiro kind of got trigger happy with explosive flame. And you kind of have to give Spiro a little bit of respect on that too. Just because like, okay, I wanted to cover the stage. I wanted to stop Peach. I wanted to force Peach. Those are really good options that you see from Palutena, right? The problem is that when you become too trigger happy, it becomes readable. And Ling Ling just knows I have enough time to punish you for it with the ending la I'm sorry, with the ending frames of explosive flame. So why not take that punish, get the stock of the game and give us game three here. All right, game three, and we got Spiro's counter pick because Spiro won that game one. So, I mean, this is huge. Uh, do or die, it all ends here for one player. It looks like we're going to PS2. Should it be interesting. Did they start off on PS2? No, they started off on Battlefield. Okay, so yeah, PS2 yeah. To, to wrap it all up. Both characters are very good here. Palutena, uh, I, I'm not even going to say Palutena especially because Peach is also especially pretty good here as well. 
Yeah, honestly, that's why a lot of players call it a starter starter stadium too, just because it's a really good starter for a lot of characters in the game. Unless you're playing against characters like Donkey Kong, where you just don't want to take him to the stage for very good reasons. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, dude! Look at this movement from Ling Ling, just uh, throwing out a couple of hitboxes, but like keeping the distance just far enough. You know, maybe I get a hit because they drop the shield, but I'm not gonna get too close where they can get a punish. So beautiful stuff so far. Whoa, Spiro going way deep. Gonna find their way back somehow. Nice. Able to get the warp just in that perfect angle, but also Ling Ling missing the nair. Gives Spiro a little bit of time to breathe here. Ling Ling on 80, moving up Spiro to 147 off the stage. Dot Eyes is the second powerful turn up, man. That could have done some damage, but the back air. Look at the way that Ling Ling forced that out. You just throw the turn up and then look at the reaction from Spiro and then just punish that. There we go. Turn up. Okay, getting a little bit of damage in Spiro's favor using the turn up. I mean, it's not going to be the Dot Eyes or anything like that. But yeah, that Dot Eyes absolutely brutal it's not the stitch space but you know what it's the second best thing ah uh, this could be tough wow gonna be able to find their way to the ledge okay Ling Ling goes in that down air able to recover extra low here Spiro with the back air yet again what a great punish option that's honestly one of Palutena's special options in the game just having that intangible back air because of the way how her shield works alongside with dash attack tail end of neutral there they're able to catch Ling Ling just a little bit Game is definitely the battle of the backers right now, man. Both these uh, players taking their first stocks in this game three using back air alone. That uh, needs to be so somebody's mean, tournament series. <laughs> battle of the backers. The yeah. only characters that have like like super super good backers allowed. <laughs> Which is pretty much almost all the cast. I don't think there's a single character that necessarily has a bad back air. Honestly, yeah, honestly, I can't really think about it. A lot of back airs kill in this game. Mm-hmm. Okay, dude, whenever I see a Palutena charge up the forward smash, I'm like, there's no way this is going to land. It's just, it's so telegraphed. But then, like, I see quite a few Palutenas actually make it work, and it's it's lethal. It, like, it actually sends them straight to the blast zone. It's pretty tough to deal with. Yeah, and it also has a windbox, too. So if your opponent is the very tail end of it, you can effectively push them back just a little bit here. But you don't want to count on it too much. All right, explosive flame here from, Spy from Spiro, pretty much looking away to land on the stage. Ling Ling taking a lot of control here. Wow, okay. Yeah, uh, interesting option. All right, has to double jump. Gonna be able to get back to stage just fine. But another back air to take out a stock. Spiro one stock away from getting a rematch against Wrath in Grand Finals. Yeah, you know Spiro definitely wants that run back, even if it's from the loser's side. Ling Ling, though, has a lot to give still. This is game three. Like we said, no best of five territory here in this ladder. You only get one shot, and you want to do your best to not mess it. No M&M puns, indeed. Okay. There you go, man. Ling Ling's trying to get something going here. 97% is, I mean, not enough to, to really kill Palutena unless you get a really strong option, a really strong read. All right, one back air just to put him off stage. The turn up toss, not going to find anything. Looking for the trump, but won't find it. Oh, what a catch to with dash attack. No forward air there yet, and like you said... A little bit earlier i'm sorry like i said earlier you the reason why you use explosive flame is you want peach to hold you know pretty much shield and respect that oh that was tough i thought dude there's been so many times where spiro goes like too low or too far i'm like there's no way they make it back and then they do every time but not that time damn the is <laughs> gonna be able to take out that stock 71 percent ling ling's got a hill to climb let's see if they can do it I'm telling you right now, Skiff, Ling Ling was listening to the commentary. He's like, hold up, Skiff. I got you. Let me just take care of the stock here really quick. <laughs> Ooh, they're, they're trading back and forth. Turn up in the hand. Gonna be able to get the Peach Palmer to the ledge, but man, Spiro continuously putting Ling Ling off stage time and time again. Looking for the up tilt, potentially to wrap it all up. Spiro's really looking for this back air. If they get all three stocks in the back air, I'll actually, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll be entertained. I'll be entertained. <laughs> But it's also the way that Spiro can just use that back air to call out Peach for going for an aerial. And then you get that intangibility over the aerial. And that's pretty much a pretty solid trade at this point. Looking at the percents between these two. 
Oh, we see this time. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I am entertained. I am entertained. All three stocks by the back air. Battle of the back airs will end with Spiro being the victor in that one. Yeah, and just like that, Spiro gets that rematch up against Raph in Grand Finals from the loser side.